by former TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Cowboy James Storm. James, thank you for joining us. Thank you guys very much for uh, coming to this lovely esta establishment. <laughs> Uh, James, you've been in TNA from the very beginning, but I mean, how did you decide when you were a kid you wanted to be a professional wrestler? Uh, I, I grew up watching it. Uh, I used to go with uh, my, my, grand, my grandfather all the time when I was a kid watching it. And it was pretty cool because uh, we had the USWA uh, where I lived, and uh, you had the likes of The Undertaker came through there, Sting, uh, Steve Austin, The Rock. Like, I got to see all these guys before they you know, really made it to the big platform and stuff. And, uh, you know, Jerry Lawler, he was the big deal there. And, uh, and I, you know, just grew up seeing these guys going, man, that has to be great. Like, I, that's what I want to do when I, you know, when I get older. You've wrestled in several, several different countries. Um, what makes England different in terms of the atmosphere and the fans? It's just the fans, man. Like, they, they're crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, they, they understand, like, they're, they're paying all this money for a ticket. So they're going to have fun. You know, I, I've been in front of a lot of crowds who, who pay all this ridiculous money for this ticket and they just sit on their butt, you know, and just watch it. I'm like, no, like, that's not fun for us either, being in the ring. Like, we want to look out and to see people raising hell and having fun. Uh, recently, you shocked the world by turning from a face to a hill, by turning, obviously, on your former tag team partner, Gunnar. Um, which role do you prefer to play? Uh, you know, I, I, I prefer to be the hill. And I always say it's easier to... Uh, piss somebody off and it is to make somebody happy that's for sure and it was pretty funny because you know when I turned on Gunner uh, <laughs> like people on my Twitter or whatever was trying to say I was a terrorist and all this I'm like what wait I, what <laughs> how am I a terrorist like I, no like I'm still I'm, I'm a wrestler like I you know I, I'm playing this character here this is this is you know what I'm doing just just because he used to be in the military and you know we were tag team partners I mean when I turned on Bobby you know, I wasn't a terrorist or anything, so I, so I, so I don't see what the big deal or <laughs> the difference is. TNA have made a massive change uh, within the last few weeks. Uh, what are your thoughts on bringing back the famous six-sided ring? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really in for it uh, because it, it hurts a lot more than the, the four-sided ring. And, you know, in, in a wrestler's career, they only have so many bumps, you know, in their body. And, uh, you know, for, to me... Like, it should be brought back one, maybe two pay-per-views a year to make that pay-per-view special. You know, maybe Destination X or Slammiversary or something like that. Because, you know, you give it three or four months and it's not going to be special anymore, you know, because people are going to be just so used to seeing it. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, and the, the ropes are shorter, uh, so you, you don't really get that much spring in it. And uh, the turnbuckles, not that I go up top much anyways, but, I mean, they're, they're not really a 90 degrees or more of a 45. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, adjusting that people who haven't worked in it is going to have to get in and kind of kind of figure out what to do. Well, at this current time, you are undoubtedly one of TNA's biggest stars, and you've had some great feuds over the years. But who has been the toughest opponent for you, and who do you think you've had the best feud with? Um, you know, the, the t toughest opponent uh, for me is definitely Kurt Angle. I mean, you get in the ring with that guy, you better, you better be ready because he, he's going to bring in, he's going to punch you, and it's going to hurt <laughs> bad. And uh, I don't care what anybody says. But uh, to me, you know, my, my best opponent was, you know, definitely Bobby. Uh, you know, you know me, and, me and Gunner, when uh, our feud started, we had some great matches too. You know, we went out there and we just beat the hell out of each other. But uh, as far as, like, long-term feud, me and Bobby definitely had a really good feud. And lastly, James, how long before we're going to see you with that world title again? Hopefully not too long. You know, I always tell everybody it's, uh, it's been too long since I've been in the world title picture. So I think it's, uh, it's about time that uh, I step back up and take over what's, what's mine. <laughs> well, James, thanks a lot and best of luck for the future.